This next activity training video, we're looking at dealing with dates, differences between dates. We've got project start and completion dates here. Now the way Excel works, we can just use calculations for dates. And let's start off with just showing you something here. If I move on to a day, let's just change the format to general. We can see Excel stores dates as numbers internally, but we don't need to see that. We want to see it in date format, but it lets us do decent calculations. So duration, we could just say that's equal to the completed date minus the project start date. And we get an answer, as you'd expect, of 4 to cover 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th. If we copy that down, we get some answers. But for projects, we probably don't want to include weekends, definitely a non-working, and there could be holidays in that period set as well. So over here at the right, column G, we have got some holiday periods set up. I've put those into a named range, so up in the name box, if I hit the drop down and go to holidays, it highlights these three dates, or I could do F5, which is go to, go to the holidays, or control G. But they're definitely set up. So let's mm -hmm. delete the answer, redo this again. So it's going to be equals. A function called network days. Here it is. We could get the help on that, but this little window here gives me the steps needed. So start date is over here, comma, end date is C2, comma, holidays now because we've got the holidays set up I'm just going to put comma go and select that range but it uses the named range I could have just put the range in but I would have had to set the dollars on there to fix that range that's important close brackets and we get an answer copy this down we see some of the answers are different because it is looking at actual working days, not weekends, and also looking at holiday dates because this project was started before December break and then well into the new year, so it wouldn't include Christmas Day, Boxing Day and New Year's Day. So that's network days, it's a very useful function. Excel uses the number system to work this out. It's called the 1900 date system when you're doing basic calculations. If I just put in here first to the first 1900, change the format of that to just general. You can see it goes to a 1 because that was the first date the calendar system started from. If I type in 10,000, change that back to a date, you can see this curious date, but that's 10,000 day units from the 1st of Jan 1900.